MLGW is making progress, but it is slow going tonight and getting the power back on for tens of thousands of the utilities customers who are still without lights or air conditioning from last night's storms. Here's where things are as of the top of the hour tonight. MLGW says more than 74,000 customers don't have power. That's down from a peak of 122,000 customers uh, right after the storms hit. Most of the outages are concentrated north of the Memphis Metro, including Millington, Raleigh, Northeast Memphis, Cordova, Bartlett, and Lakeland. And if being without power isn't bad enough, some folks are being asked to boil their water before they drink it, cook with it, or brush their teeth. As you can see, the area affected is a small portion of North Shelby County along the Tipton County line. We're told low water pressure is why this boil order was issued. Tonight, many MLGW customers are wondering when their lights are going to be turned back on. Stefan Reels is live in one of those hard hit areas in Bartlett, as a matter of fact. So what's MLGW saying tonight in terms of how long this is going to take with so many folks without power, Stefan? Well, Richard, I hate to break it to you. The news is not good. President Doug McGowan says that if you don't have electricity right now, you might have several days before those lights come back on in your house. And the big problem? Branches like I have right here, almost the size of my body, taking out power lines like that behind me, causing a lot of issues. And a lot of people are ignored, annoyed. They're asking MLGW, why is it taking so long to address a problem they were going to address several years ago? Just one day later, the damage is widespread. So widespread that even for communities used to frequent outages, this storm stands out as one of the worst in recent memory that's not ice related. Our power went out in this neighborhood right about 6.50 p.m. MLGW says it deployed almost 190 crews to first restore power to hospitals, water and sewer lines, and assess the full scope of damage. This is the sixth worst storm in Memphis Light, Gas and Water's history. Because of that, at a news conference today, the utility warned this storm may take a while to fully recover from. We're asking friends to help friends, family to help family. We will do our best to get power on as quickly as we can, but I cannot today give you an estimate for full restoration. McGowan said a majority of the damage is due to overgrown branches that should have been trimmed back, but weren't. It's an issue that has many MLGW customers annoyed. They want to know what happened to the utility's five-year improvement plan, which called for trimming back 1,400 miles of trees a year but has failed to do so for the past three years. Citizens are being totally neglected. MLGW said it plans on investing $200 million in contracts to help catch up. But watchdog groups like 21st Century Memphis or BUST are demanding the Memphis City Council make more of an effort in quality control. Reconsider bringing tree trimming back in-house where there's better quality control and where leadership can say, yes, you're doing this right. No, you need to be servicing this area better so that all customers are being taken care of. So what exactly is taking this five-year improvement plan so long? President Doug McGowan says it's because of the pandemic, but he is hopeful that over the next five years, those $200 million in contracts is going to help the utility company catch up with their backlog. Live in Bartlett, I'm Stefan Reels. All right, so let's break down that five-year plan Stefan mentioned. Here's how far behind MLGW says it is in implementing it. Of the 1,400 miles of trees the utility hoped to trim in 2022, only 190 miles of trees were trimmed. That's only 13.6% of the target. The numbers on wooden pole replacements is more encouraging. Uh, last year, the target was to have 600 poles replaced, and MLGW succeeded in replacing 505 of them, or about 84% of target. MLGW had also targeted replacing 90,000 feet of underground cables, but has only gotten to just uh, less than 38,000, or 42% of its goal.